Some reports from the war in Ukraine outline intense fighting for important eastern Ukrainian territories. And while the Russian forces continue to press on, researchers say the fight is at a critical moment in the war. And that is the word to members of Congress. And our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us now live from the U.S. Capitol on this. Rachel, what were some of your biggest takeaways from these discussions about Ukraine? Well, good evening, Mike and Eva. So some of the biggest takeaways were about the concerns of public opinion. So as this war continues to drag on, experts say that many Americans, including some of our allies, are growing a little bit more uh, concerned about our investment um, into this war, especially because uh, of the financial impacts that trickle down all the way into our local communities, including right up there in Northwest PA. And so they say that the U.S. really needs to kind of stress what's at stake for the global order if Russia succeeds. Succeeds. We are at a pivotal moment in this war. In a recent congressional hearing, the focus was on the conflict in Ukraine. Currently, localized assaults are underway in Donetsk, Luhansk, and Zaporizhia oblasts, possibly to bring these regions under full occupation and to keep Ukrainian forces engaged. Reports from the front lines say both sides are fighting hard for parts of Ukraine's eastern territory. Experts told senators they believe Russia will continue the fight for a long time to achieve Russian President Vladimir Putin's goal of conquering Ukraine altogether. At a minimum, Russia wants to get total control of the Donbass region, the Donetsk and Luhansk provinces, which have been partially occupied by Russia since 2014. The next goal would be total control of two new regions, which he has declared are annexed to Russia, Kherson and Zaporizhia, an artificial red line. Then Putin might be willing to sit down and negotiate an agreement for a ceasefire. But make no mistake, that would only be temporary. While other European allies have contributed to Ukraine's efforts, the U.S. has been the biggest supplier. Experts warn there's a growing sense of uncertainty abroad and at home of why the U.S. and our allies should continue to help Ukraine. The reasons for American interest are many. The war threatens the American-led international order. We cannot be secure in our leadership role if we allow a war of regression to progress and persist in a major sovereign state with the potential of a Russian victory. This is about international stability and a world in which rules are observed rather than the disruptive world Putin wants, one where there are no rules. And Mike and Eva, uh, experts believe that Russia will continue to recruit more people to join their forces, but they believe that Russia is trying to just rush people to the front lines and they're not really giving them uh, a lot of training to do this. And so they believe that even if they are going to be growing in numbers, uh, the impact that will have won't be as great as Russia might hope it will, uh, will be. Back to you.